Hey friends, it's Don. Uh, this will be the introduction on gaslighting. This could be a little hard for me because things are still pretty fresh and raw. I joke, but I'm also serious about the fact that I was gas, well, I was gaslit to Mars. I did a couple of orbits around Mars and now I'm back on Earth. Whoa, what a trip that was. And in other stories I shared that in this pain, no, I felt like in my Catholic tradition, I was up on the cross with Christ, who did say, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. Uh, that's kind of when I became a universalist, and I believe that them as all humans, all of creation, I think we will all be saved. And then I kind of joke that when Christ said, they do not know what they're doing, uh, Christ was talking about the big crazy Murphy family, right? Because there's so many of us, and we all have higher degrees of education, but we do not know how we hurt each other, heart and soul. And in my big crazy family, families, I mean, again, we're so big, uh, we really don't know how we hurt each other, heart and soul. Anyway. Gaslighting introduction. So this is from the New York Times on July 24th. This heroine now knows how to find her way. Uh, at the Shaw Festival, the melodrama Gaslight is reimagined and other plays grapple with femininity and gender fluidity. This article also down here talks about um, Gaslight, uh, the Ingrid Bergman movie in 1944. Now, I was familiar with that, and trust me, in this journey I've been on, I felt just like <laughs> Ingrid Bergman did, that that got it. They want us to go be crazy. <laughs> That's a different story. Um, and then as I was going through this, and I was seeing a psychiatrist, not that I ever needed to see a psychiatrist, but back then, I don't know how many years ago, three, two or three, my family was trying to help me. Uh, they and it's all about misunderstanding and fear and all this kind of stuff that I'll explain more later. Uh, but I gave the psychiatrist I was seeing uh, the only book I could find on gaslighting. Now, what I don't like about this now, having been gaslit to Mars and now back on Earth, is I don't like the harmful language that our psychologists and psychiatrists come up with, recognize manipulative and emotionally abusive people and break free. To me, this is all psychobabble. Uh, I believe that uh, the psychologists, the psychiatrists, smart, smart people, just like all the people in my family, but they do not know how the human heart and soul really work. They come up with theories that try to explain you know, express it. Uh, I believe that many of these people believe we have free will. I do not. I've seen too much in my career as a geriatrician and in my big crazy families. So uh, I want to, us to reimagine gaslighting. I believe gaslighting uh, undergirds every divorce, um, every indefinite separation, the estrangement we see in families, these are us human beings just, um, you know, making up stories, trying to understand those we love and misunderstanding them and getting lost in fear and confusion and all that kind of stuff. I do want to quote this one thing from this book. I mean, there are a lot of truths in this book, but there's also a lot of uh, what I would call misperceptions, misdiagnosis, psychobabble, all that kind of BS that we, tr we come up with. Uh, first, to make progress, know that this was not your fault. So you're just, oh, sometimes you are just born with bad wiring. Hey, how about this? How about all the time we human beings are born with bad wiring? It's genetic. In other words, we're just a constellation of, of uh, millions of genes that determine our personalities, our psychological makeup, our spiritual predilections, 
physical traits, blah, 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 blah. And, and as I will cover in other uh, stories in uh, The Crazy Murphys, everything leads to forgiveness. That's what God has imbued in all of us. So no matter what trauma we survive, we end up, if we don't die right away and go to the BFP, I call it, we end up forgiving those who have hurt us. And so back to this key thing, uh, key insight I now have about gaslighting. It, one type is where those who love each other uh, misunderstand each other, and that comes through miscommunication, leads to misunderstanding, leads to fear. The fear of losing each other, and then it can go on to gaslighting, where we who love each other try to help the ones we love, but in the end, it really hurts them. Um, yeah, and then, like I say, I got gas lit out of my own profession. How about that? There are many crazy stories there. And I understand why in my own profession, medicine and psychiatry, again, I practice more psychiatry as a geriatrician than all the psychiatrists I know. Um, I understand now why there was complete denial of this uh, thing called gaslighting. I get it now. I'm going through the system going, hey, Folks, this is about, here's the diagnosis. It's grief. I've been gaslit from my family. That's hell. That is so painful. And um, I said, it's gaslighting. And, you know, the professions, you know, including the psychiatrist who, who were taking care of me when I voluntarily admitted myself to a psych hospital to show my family I'm not really crazy. Uh, Anyway, more fun stories down the road now that Mur we Murphys are all back together and can explore this crazy thing called gaslighting together. That's the introduction. Oh, I'll have more to say on this later. Goodbye.